Today I'm looking at a reversible belt design. If you've seen one, you know that reversible belt is for people who are cheap like me and need one belt to perform two purposes. So you have brown on one side and black on the other. Um, so the way this belt is designed, this particular one anyway, I believe they're all pretty much designed very similarly, but there's a plate and the buckle, and the plate fits snugly inside the buckle, and when it's time for you to flip sides, you lift or pull apart and rotate the rest of the belt, and it slides back in. So this, this is performed very, I guess, simply by there being a spring placed inside of the plate and a little pin like this that is also inside of the plate. And there are these little ridges on this pin you can see those ridges hold the pin to the buckle. Now I'm not certain how they're supposed to stay, but I believe they're just forced, the pin's just forced inside the buckle, and due to the design of the pin, it just stays in place. So, pin goes through the spring, through the plate, into the buckle, like that. The belt would go in like that. And then you have these two screws. The screws would go into each side and you tighten it down to hold the belt in place to the plate and then in theory well in practice as well the pin if you've hammered it in or got it stuck in the buckle well enough you should be able to pull out rotate and the spring. It's the spring that's allowing you to pull out and then push it back in. Oh, cool little trick. Mine broke, so I'm taking it apart to see if I can get this pin back in place, but we'll see. Either way, you know, you learn a, learn a little something. Bye.